So what's going to happen now is I'm going to obliterate the person behind me. Um, he's got his. He's done. He's good. Mylan from Smart Shake here. So we both got our Smart Shakes. Uh, so we're going to go through a DTP arm workout, as you probably would have seen once before on the grenade videos. So we're going to do arms, uh, biceps and triceps, supersets. And um, so we better start taking this now because we've got about 20 minutes to go. So Enjoy. let's get this down here. Thanks. Yeah, since FIBA of last year, so yeah, 30 months I've been trying this now. And now, as of two days ago, it's actually finally on the market. So obviously there's been a lot of testing going into this. Perfect. I don't normally take pre-workout supplements. Anyone knows that, that I don't normally take pre-workouts. And this is the only pre-workout supplement that I've actually liked. That doesn't give you the jitters, doesn't make you anxious, doesn't give you a crash. So, you know, I take it because... Uh, you know, it just, get, it just gets you a little bit more focused, you know, it gets you in the groove. Uh, it gives you a pump, but not so much that you can't get through the reps that you're supposed to attain, you know, so um, it's a perfect formula, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a live workout at the moment with uh, De Deputy Editor in Chief of Bodybuilding.com, Chris Gethin, and Martin from uh, Smart Shape. It's a beauty by white and DTP. It has the ability to increase lean muscle mass, decrease body fat, increase aerobic capacity. It also has the ability to decrease cortisol levels and also free radicals for our studies that we've actually done. And it also has the ability to, to radically increase your own growth hormone factors as well. Now this type of training isn't something that you can do every single day, day in, day out, day in, day out, because it really is extremely taxing and you potentially would run yourself into an overtrained state. But this is definitely some way a formulator that you would put and apply on every two to three weeks to make sure that you bring up stubborn body parts for instance. This is something that uh, Chris has developed as a step for many, many years. And the beauty about wife uh, DTP, it has the ability for you to spend very less time in the gym, so you have more time out of the gym, and also you have the, the advantage of only using one, maybe one piece of equipment for instance. But Chris is going to go in the, at the moment and do his first working set. The rep ranges from Chris is going to be 50 repetitions, then we increase the rep, uh, the weight, and then it's 40, increase the weight, then it's 30, then we increase the weight, then it's 20, then we increase the rep, the weight, and then again it's 10 repetitions, and then we drop the weight and work back down. Right, whoa, slow the movement down, slow down, Chris, slow down the movement, come on, let's go, that's better, good. One thing I want to say to you about the movements is that the speed that you actually apply the, the negative part of the movement, if you don't control that negative part of the movement, you could potentially be losing 60% of the stress and loads on the actual muscle fibers that you're trying to train. Now, in the past, there's been a big misconception out there that people think that you've got to use heavy weights to actually maximize muscle growth. That's completely not the case at all whatsoever. From our own case studies, that we can actually do that. And also, your body and your muscle has no idea how much weight that you're actually lifting, for instance. All it actually understands is the stress and load that you're actually given on that particular muscle group, for instance. But the one thing about DTP and Y3T, it has the ability to really open up and stretch the fascia. And the fascia, in a sense, if you can imagine, is like a skin around, say, flesh. And it's, it, it, it actually uh, sort of binds and keeps that sort of uh, flesh together. And what happens is when that fascia is really tight, it actually restricts the blood flow to that sort of muscle group that you're actually trying to train. Just lean back a little bit if you want to lean back. Bring the bar up to here for me. Good, come on. Good. As I said about fascia stretching, what's really important is that the more you can actually stretch a fascia out, the actual fascia around the muscle tissue, the more oxygenated rich blood and nutrient rich blood you can actually force within the actual muscle. Not only this will actually improve the breakdown of muscle tissue, it will actually allow your body to actually recover quickly because it's going to, it's going to be using oxygen uh, and it's rich blood to actually get to the muscle so it's actually going to have the ability to sort of help stabilize that but also what it'll actually do is it'll actually allow body fat to be used as an energy source and uh, carry to that actual particular muscle group with the oxygen to actually allow yourself to do further extra repetitions as I said already, what's really taxing about this type of training is that um, because everything is sort of advocated towards high repetitions, you get extreme, extreme sort of blood flow towards that area that you're actually training. Okay, come on, how, how many reps is that? 45, I think. 45? Adam, you counting? Yes. Okay, right. 
I know exactly what's in it and it's not so much this is what I find with a lot of supplements it isn't so much what supplements in it you know with you know an entire or how many supplements or ingredients I should say is in it because some of the you know uh, supplements you'll get a huge list like this and it's like wow you know this one's got 20 ingredients as opposed to this one's got 10 ingredients but the main thing is is the amount of the ingredients that you get in there so a lot of the time when you get that correct amount it tastes like shit in all honesty but you know that is the correct amount but you know for, for instance when we were testing this like 12 months ago it tasted like shit didn't it Al? you know it tasted bad so then once you know alan got the the formula just right then he works with one of the most expensive taste formulators in the world i'm not going to even say how much he costs today um, to get the taste right. So it isn't, you know, the amount of ingredients, it's getting the correct amounts of that ingredients, you know, that counts. A lot of companies just put like a, a, a sprinkling of, of certain ingredients in, uh, just for label claim, what we call label claim. Um, but basically, like Chris is saying, we've got clinically proven, research validated amounts of all the ingredients you need, the right amounts of citrulline, beta alanine, arginine, branch chain complex. We've got a patented branch chain com complex in there, um, you know, as well as uh, the, the, the niacin we've got a bit of caffeine in there as well so but you know every, everything you need for a, a good workout is actually is in this product in the right dose Primarily in the past, people thought that to build maximum muscle mass, 
and you really want to be hitting back to fibers. Unfortunately, this actually means got some sort of weaknesses within the, within the actual muscle belly itself. But what happens is that you like to find your uh, the muscle assets, uh, the right. just drop when you actually perform on these exercises. Good line, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, man. Good. Come on. Good. Good. Rack it in. Rack it in. Rack it in. Rack it in. And then two small ones. Good. Good. A lot of people don't like to take too much water, but I like to take a lot. I just find if I take it too concentrated, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, with supplements in general, not just with pre-workouts, with any supplements, I like to have like a lot of fluid in there, just let it just, you know, settle in and go in entirely around the body because the main thing that you want to be, especially before you work out, is extremely hydrated. You'll get a lot of pre-workout formulas that work against that and get you dehydrated, you know, which doesn't make sense. So I'll make sure that I'm pretty much hydrated before we get into this. Uh, and Alan knows that I don't take a, a supplement unless I've either, number one, physically seen the scientific studies and research behind those claims, or number two, I've actually put my hand in my pocket and paid for um, a study on a supplement that I'm taking, you know, because otherwise, what's the point of putting your hands together and hoping that it works, you know, it's, it's just Think, no point. Like Chris was saying as well, because he doesn't normally use pre-workout products, if we could get something that Chris himself would use, we knew we cracked it, um, because basically, you know, like I said, there's, you know, there's a lot of free workouts there, but there's probably not that many really good ones. What we have in there, I think it's important that what we don't have in there, which obviously is a lack of geranium, you know, we don't use DMAA, which no. again, is, seems to make a bit of a downward slide now for various reasons, but, you know, DMAA, uh, geranium, 1,3-dimethylamylamine, is the worst thing you can probably take before a workout. It's a vasoconstrictor, uh, it constricts blood vessels, that's the last thing you want to do before you train, you want to actually dilate the blood vessels. Yeah. So again, you know, free workouts that contain that, you know, really, we've got a question really why it's in there. Yeah, and, for and fortunately that that's been phased out of the supplement industry now anyway, so you know, it's helping clean the industry up. Fortunately, Alan's one step ahead of the game and you know, is one of the first to come out with formulas without any of that crap in it, you know. is your weakest link so your grip will go when you're doing rips, uh, reps like this and it's the same when you're training back as well you know your, your, your weakest link will be your biceps here. so it is essential that you wear straps and stuff like that but in regards to the nutrition you know I do recommend that you take 
if you are going to take a pre-workout, make sure you do take a, a good quality one that isn't just filled with caffeine and stuff that's going to you know, dehydrate you while you are training because you do need to be hydrated, fully hydrated. So, you know, what I'll do when I go, when I go to the gym, I make sure that, you know, I've got my, um, my pre-workout ready in here. I'll also have my multivitamins that I do take before my workouts, like a lot of people take them before, um, you know, breakfast and at night time. But I'll actually have it before my workout because I want nutrient-rich um, blood going to my muscles. So I'll have my pills in here. And then I'll have my post-workout shake in my bottom uh, compartment. How was that for you, buddy? Uh, hold the mic. <laughs> Uh, it was interesting, and especially when I travel the world with Moshik, I don't have time for pre power, walk, uh, power walks, cardio. And if the pros train like this, they understand that they can be so big. And I'm not going to be able to drive my car back now. <laughs> but it was really good. I'm going to be sore for two weeks. But it was, it was interesting with the crowd here. We couldn't back down either, so it was just like full of oil. It was a good one. Awesome. Well, please give him a round of applause here. He really did well, mate. He didn't give up. He's hardcore, brother.